Watch your right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you got him. No. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Guys, I got a confession to make. And some of you may know this, some of you may not. I do not edit all my videos. Thrive Visuals has a full-time editor. His name is Nick Ans. He does a lot of my vlog editing, edits uh, a lot of the stuff for 12 Manitoba. But I, Thrive is not a one-man show. There's a bunch of people doing different things. And Nick is a huge part of the team. And today, Nick is going ice fishing for the first time. <laughs> He happens to be in Kenora helping me with some editing, and you've never been ice fishing before, is that correct? Never been. This is the first time out. How are you feeling? I am excited. I am scared of the cold and the outdoors. Normally, normally we keep Nick inside. As you've seen in past videos, I've made fun of his skin pigment. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded bad. That sounded bad. No, no, it, it, nothing to do with the skin color. I love all skin colors. More so the fact that he doesn't see the sun too much. I try not to let him out. I try to keep him locked away. And we're going ice fishing. We're going for crappies. But I'm going to let Nick run the show. I'm not, I'll give him a little help. But I'm going to see if he can figure it out on his own. So here we go. We need to go fishing. The sun's setting. Here's Nick making mac I'm and cheese. I'm making food. You bring me out here and you don't feed me, Jay. What do you expect? He expects a lot. One crappie will make it a success. You know what, even a pike. And just a fish through the ice will make it a success. Ready to go. Nick with the mac and cheese. Let's do it. Wow, that outfit, look at those bell bottoms. <laughs> you said, bring warm things. These are all the warm things I own, Jay. Do you know what a crappie looks like? Um, so I have to admit something to you. What? I definitely haven't watched like the last two videos you put up. There's no crappies in the last two videos. Oh, okay. You're good. Okay, cool. Okay, so, so they're like, like, they're like a little wider and a little shorter. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Boom. Gone. So you're gonna eat mac and cheese in my teeth? Crush that. Just crushed a full box of mac and cheese. It's late. We we were kind of busy editing this morning. I don't want to give him too much. I want to see him not struggle. I want to see him learn on his own. So I don't know what I'm doing, Jay. I, I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't know anything. I, I know you go out on the water Ice. Ice, right, it's ice. You go out on the ice, you you drill a hole, and you, I don't know. Okay, I got some questions for you. What is considered safe ice for foot travel? Like, how thick it is? Out there. Three feet. Four inches. What? Yeah. So. You're taking me out on four inches of ice? No, there will be more than four inches of ice. You're gonna kill me. All right, today we're gonna be fishing the basin for crappies. Nick, explain what the basin of a lake is. The basin of a lake, well, Jay, uh, the basin of the lake is where um, it's at its deepest point and, it, and, it, and it's like a bowl, like a basin, right at the very bottom. That's, that's a great... Am I right? Yeah, that was good, that was good. So lakes can have multiple basins and for crappies, that's why, you know, for example, Lake of the Woods will have different areas of crappies. There's different basins with it. What you want is spawning area, you want a bunch of spawning bays. And then you want that nice basin beside it. Basins can be too deep though. I like anywhere from a shallower lake, the basin might be 15 up to around 30-ish. That's kind of a pretty good depth for crappies. You can catch them shallower. Today, we're probably gonna be fishing in that 15 foot range. And soft bottom is key. Soft bottom, it contains the bugs, the invertebrates, the stuff the crappies feed on. We're gonna be hitting the sunset bite. And Nick's gonna be quivering that uh, Little crappie jig. Is that your noodle? That that's my noodle. Wow, you are styling. Turn around. You're the most fashionable ice fisherman ever. Thanks. All right, okay, grab the gear. Step one. <laughs> Step one. Get a tote. Oh yeah. All right, auger. We're good. Let's go ice fishing. Angling. Ang ice angling. Ice fishing. Ice angling? Does it make a difference? Ice angling. Okay. No, it doesn't matter. Where are we starting, Nick? Uh, we're gonna go find the basin, which is that way. Where are we going? Keep walking. Jay forgot the camera in the truck, the FS5, so he's going back to get it. I've been out here for four hours on my own 
food and water are running thin. I don't know if I'll make it out. I'm not one with the wilderness. It's surprisingly peaceful. It's very quiet. I could maybe get used to this. Maybe. He's back, he's made it back. I'm not Guys. alone. Guys, without this, there would have been no slow-mo in this video. Now we got slow-mo, it's time to go. Now? How was the walk? How long do you think? 20, 40 minutes? <laughs> all right, all right, pop a hole. All right. How do I do that? This is the spot. This right here. This is the spot. Now, I turn it on. Yep. Give it a little, I don't know. <laughs> nope. Oh, that was close. Give it a little gas. Okay, should we just fish this hole? Yeah. Are we gonna just call it good with one? Yeah, no, this is it. This okay, is, this grab, is the all we need. grab the flasher. What's a flasher? Do you know what a flasher is? You've watched enough ice fishing. You I've know. never watched an ice fishing video, Jay. Nick. I know. This goes down there. I hope so. If I'm about to wreck equipment, Jay. You're okay. And it's that simple. Switch to auto mode. How deep are we right now? Uh, uh, tw 12 feet. 12 feet. Which is right where we wanted to be. You said 15. That's, that's close. Okay, that's really that, That's my lure. There. Yeah, look at that. See that thing there? There? Yeah. That's a fish. Is it? So you want to hold it as slow as possible. Crappies don't want anything big and aggressive. Just try to like vibrate. Get on the spot. He's moving. What's going on, Nick? He's, he's moving. What's going on? He's moving. Talk to me. He's on top of it. What? He's on top of it. Nick. Oh. He's like right on you. Just, just wait. He's gonna tap it so lightly. Watch the rod. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you got him. No. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, buddy! Oh, yes! Look at that, he chowed it. Right okay, down. you hold him up, you hold him up. What do I do? Just hold him oh. up. Hold him up. There he is, right there. What do you think? That was awesome! Do you, do you know what the fish look like on the screen now? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It was like a little line, and then it was on top of my line, and I went, boom. That is a big crappie. Yeah. And you know what we do with big crappies? We eat them? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we put them back. Oh, okay. I'll always kiss remember. him, you gotta kiss your first fish through the ice. Ugh. Do All I right. just send him down? Yep. Goodbye, sir. Yeah, That buddy. was so easy. Just like that. Video made. So typically, I like to hold it just a little bit above them because they're always looking up to eat. Right. You don't have to do anything crazy with crappies. The walleyes, you can rip it with Lake Tree, you can rip it. Look, he's coming up ready. Yep. So this fish, this is kind of flickering. I know in my last video I told you guys how to deal with the flicker but there's a fish right on top of Nicholas. There's a second fish, see? When two fish come in, Nick, they'll like compete for it. Oh. Look at him, he's coming up for it. Just hold it on the spot. Just hold it on the spot, tap it. Watch your rod tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't even watch the screen now, just watch the rod tip. I think he just ate it. Lift it. Yeah, you got him. Take your time. Oh. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep, oh, it's frozen, lift it, just lift it, just lift it. Oh, he popped off. No. That's okay, that's okay. Yeah, 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 you got him. <laughs> Here we go. Keep oh, it lift it, lift it, it, it froze, froze again. Froze again. Ah! 
<laughs> Guys, that is a beautiful slab crappie. Woo! That was good. <laughs> Are we having some fun or what? Ice angling! He's all over it. Yep. You got him? Yep. Yep. It's frozen again. All right. Come on, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. That shot was so to focus. I'm sorry. Was it? Yeah. Uh, there's a lot going on. That's okay. Hold him up. Right there. There we go. Yeah. What do you think? I love it. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I got the, the set that time without you telling me. I know. That was the most impressive thing. That was good. I'm marking one. You're marking one? It'd be nice if I catch one behind you here. That'd be good. Nice little moment that we could share together. Oh, I got one too. Double header maybe? Maybe. Is he on you? Yeah, he's right on me. He ate it, oh! Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh! <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. Lighten him up, man. This is easy. Ice fishing is easy. So Nick came on a travel Manitoba shoot this summer and teaching him how to lake trout fish. Give him a butt tail jig. I said, hey, we're 90 feet of water. Drop it down to the bottom. Rip it up. Nick's first drop of the lure. I had him the rod. He drops down. I'm going to get up my rod. I look over. His rod's bent. 40 inch trout. Fish of a lifetime. Just Nick's, Nick's got it. He was He's got uh, it. It was a 42. It was not a 42. It was a 42. Was it a 42? It a 42. No, it was a 40. It was a 42. I don't believe you. I'm pretty sure it was I don't a think so. That is a wrap. What do you think? That was awesome. That was really good. Nice thing about fishing with Nick is he is good with a camera, but today I learned, well, I think I kind of knew it. He is a dang stick, that kid. Three crappies, four? I don't know. I don't even know. It was good, it was quick. I was like, Nick, we got a couple minutes for a sunset. He got a hammer down and I mean, you guys saw it was ridiculous. Nick, any, any final thoughts? Any, uh, what's your consensus on ice fishing? Uh, ice angling, Jay. Ice angling. Um, no, it was a ton of fun having the, uh, it's not a sonar, what is it called? Flasher. Flasher. That was cool because you could see the fish and you could like actually like kind of like interact and play with it and then just, pff, it just hits. It's so it's fun. So, super fun evening. Ice fishing season is just beginning and I already feel like I've ice fished more than last year. This is awesome. Um, I don't know what else there is to say. Make sure to subscribe. Please subscribe because we're doing videos weekly, twice a week, three times a week. I don't even know, but uh, it's good that I'm having a blast and I appreciate every comment and every like. So thank you. If you want more Nick in the videos, comment below. We'll see you next time.